Hello everyone and welcome to our universe. Today we're talking all about stars. So in this video you're going to learn a lot of things about stars. We're going to be asking questions about stars. For example, what exactly is a star? What is a star made of? Which is the closest star to us? And many more. So let's jump right in and talk all about stars. So what exactly is a star? A star is a huge sphere of very hot glowing gas. Stars produce their own light and energy by a process called nuclear fusion. This happens when lighter elements are forced to become something heavier. For example, hydrogen turning into helium. When this happens, a tremendous amount of energy is created, causing the star to heat up and shine. Stars come in a variety of sizes and colours. Our Sun is an average sized yellowish star. Stars which are smaller than our Sun are mostly reddish, and larger stars are mostly blue. And also the colour of the star indicates the temperature as well. So what exactly are stars made of? Stars are basically made of very hot gas. This gas is mostly hydrogen and helium which are the two lightest elements. Stars shine by burning hydrogen into helium in their cores, and later in their lives create heavier elements. Most stars have small amounts of heavier elements, like carbon, nitrogen, oxygen and iron. After a star runs out of fuel, it ejects much of its material back into space, recycling this material into the new generation of stars. And these new stars are being formed from this material. So how many stars can we see in the night sky? The number of stars that you can see in a night sky, basically a moonless night sky, and also in a dark area, basically away from city lights, is about 2000. Basically, the darker the sky, the more stars you can see. So astronomers hate light pollution. And if you have a moon in the night sky, this reduces the number of stars that we can see. So how many stars are there? Well, to be honest, no one quite knows exactly how many stars there are in the universe. But we can give it a good guess. There are so many stars, billions and billions of them, that it's not actually possible to count them. Our own galaxy, the Milky Way, has several hundred billion stars, and best estimations say that it's at least over a hundred billion. And also there are billions of other galaxies in the observable universe, which have less or the same or maybe even more stars in their galaxies. So what exactly is the closest star to us? Well the closest star is of course the Sun, at 93 million miles away. But that's a bit of a cheat, so let's talk about the next nearest star. So the next nearest star is a star called Proxima Centauri, and it lies at a distance of 4.3 light years. So to put it in comparison, a car travelling at 60 miles per hour would take more than 48 million years to reach the closest star. Proxima Centauri is actually part of a triple star system, which also includes the stars of Alpha Centauri A and B. Proxima Centauri is a small red star, and it is about one tenth the size of our Sun. So you can't quite see it in the nighttime sky. You need a very big telescope to observe this dim star. So is the Sun the largest star? Although the star is massive compared to Earth, and looks massive compared to any other star, there are actually many stars that are much larger. The Sun appears so large compared to the other stars, because it's just simply much closer than any other star in the night sky. The Sun is just simply an average sized star, with an average brightness and an average mass. And for an example, I'm going to give you a list of some of the largest stars in our galaxy. So the first one is called Deneb, and this is about 140 times the size of our Sun. Antares which is about 530 times the size of our Sun. Betelgeuse, which is in the constellation of Orion, 
is 900 times the size of our sun. And Mu Cephei is about 1,500 times the size of our sun. So one of the most common questions in all of astronomy is, will we ever travel to the stars? Well, traveling to the stars is very difficult because they're basically so far away. The nearest star is 4.3 light years away, which in our technological age is impossible. It would take nearly four and a half years to get there. And that's just the closest star. It is always possible that sometime in the future, people will find a way to travel to the stars. But right now, we just do not have the technology. So I hope that's given you a great insight into all about stars. And as always, if you've enjoyed the video, click the like button. And if you want to support the channel, click subscribe. Thank you for watching.